What's going on everybody? My name is Chris the Cast Gamer and welcome back to Pokemon Snakewood. In the last episode we got here to the Mount Chimney Summit only to find out that it's been overrun by the Inquisition. In which we got to this guy number th four? Number five. Five or six, one of them, of the Deadly Seven. So, in this episode, hopefully we'll be able to take the rest of them out, find out what's going on at the monastery, and maybe get some light shun on uh, what's going on in the uh, what's going on in the world. So, I'm not gonna do a team recap this time because we've been doing them very often. Um, just keep in mind that we have Maya the Gyarados holding the. Gamblefish. Gary's not holding anything. He was holding the Brain Link, but we gave it to Dega. Although I'm thinking now we might give that back to Gary. You can use Softboiled? Interesting. Um, I'm gonna give the Brain Link back to Gary. Because we are underleveled to the point that I prefer Gary being, like, having the higher, higher levels over Dega. Uh, Poic is still holding the Quick Claw, or the Demon Horn, sorry, and Tapuku is still holding the Leftovers. So, the guy that we're fighting against now has Golbats, who loves confusion. So, and you're the fifth. Okay, this guy's the fifth. So I was right, fifth. This guy has Golbats, as you've seen from the last episode. If you missed the last episode, be sure to go back. And uh, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, you know, all that good, wonderful stuff. Um, so, we're going to start by maybe surfing. This gold battle really loves to confuse. Can I break out of the confusion? No. Because my luck is absolutely terrible. Snapped out of confusion though. Turn two. Like it, love it, love it, love it. The problem is that because I'm under leveled, everything is faster than me, so I can't use bite to flinch. Although, Maya, I would love for you to get a crit. Although right now it probably wouldn't matter. No, it would have. We'll just tackle the Golbat, killing it. Next turn, more than likely, it's going to use uh, another. Or next turn, it's going to use another Confuse Ray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this turn to heal. Um, more than likely, can, no Air Cutter. Just straight up to use Air Cutter. Okay, that's fine. We'll surf. Air Cutter isn't doing all that much. Unless he gets a crit. Maya, respond with a... No. I was like, Maya, respond with a crit. But no. Unfortunately, not this time. I need to soon get more uh, energy roots. Alright, surf again. I think he has one more gold bat on top of this. Air Cutter has a high crit rate, if I remember correctly, now. Okay. As long as this thing doesn't crit me, I can surf one more, and I'm going to heal next turn. Using the energy root again, because he's using air cutter, air cutter, crits, and crits hurt a lot. And we'll, but, and we'll surf again, almost at bite. Killing this goal bad. Alright. And another goal bat. Last but not least, a goal bat. At least you're using wing it. I prefer the wing attack over the air cutter. Mm, I'm gonna heal myself up again. I really need energy roots. And I don't exactly want to go back. I don't want to. I don't want to go back to the monastery because then I gotta go through. Oh, you actually miss for once. Thank you. I will gladly take advantage of that. 
Because then I gotta go back through the frigid way again. You're the last one. So... I'll go back to the, the healing, the medical kit. And heal up. Very good little herb too, very nice. I am out of lemonade, oh my lord. Okay. Okay. So, I'm gonna go back and heal. Thankfully, it's not that far. <laughs> because more than likely, we got ourselves a hard battle on the go. That looks like... F That's famine, isn't it? We're actually gonna fight famine now, aren't we? Now that I think about it. Looking at a sprite? That's famine. I'm gonna save. And we'll see where this gets me. Chloe? Give it up, demon! Go back to where you came from or I'll destroy you. This is famine. One amusing thought. You think you can destroy me? Don't let me show you. What are you doing here? Civi oh, this is an extremely dangerous situation. I won't let you take innocent lives. Prepare to be cast into the ab- eh. I was thinking you might prove an interesting opponent. Your Taoists... Wait. She's a Taoist. So is Gleese. You defeated Alicia, even weakened you, or even, even weakened as you were by my crippling sandstorms. You are a formidable foe. I shall fight you when I'm better prepared. I'm okay, I think. Aren't you the kid who's been messing with our people along with that Gleese? Yes, you're the bad guy. You're the bad guy. It's just straight up. You guys are bad. Gleese and I are the good guys. That's how it works. What? Gleese is the bad guy here. Don't you know what he's up to? He's fighting the four horsemen of the... In their, in their zombie legions, right? True, but not for the reasons you think. He's serving another master, a darker master, even that even the a master even than the horsemen and their ally Meteor. That master is also launching an invasion of Hoenn in the east, and Gleese is a spy sent to destroy the western forces from within. You have to believe me, a strong trainer like you. We need your help. Before you arrived, that demon said something about him being angry that his sister had been defeated. That was you. Yeah, I defeated Pestilence. You see, no one else in this region could have done that. We need your strength. What has he actually done? He hasn't given me any aid, and come to think of it, he lied when he told me I could find answers in New Marvel. That is true. I guess you're right. Really fantastic. I'm so glad you realized that. Look, I have to go, but I appreciate it if you would drop by my house later. Isn't that the Inquisition base? Oh no, the base you invaded was our secondary base. I live in our main base north of here in Fallabor. Okay. Can I please get fly? Thank you so much for your help. The demons and the and those odd government people have left. On behalf of of the Sang Ha, I declare you a pure soul. If you so choose, you may enter the sacred Shakamuni Tower. That's the place I couldn't go to before. Uh. <sighs> okay, game. Be like that. I can now enter that tower. Is there anybody here? No. So I can leave now. I bone chillingly cold gale blast you from between the gates. I don't think I can go any further this way. I gotta go back this way. Okay. Let's go back this way. Let's heal up, even though there was no fighting. And I can go to the tower. I guard find blah 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 blah. Alright, I need to go back to the Shakya Monastery. And it said that I can find what I need to find at the tower. Which is the tower that, you know, basically screamed, you can't. Oh, what was it? I'm not worthy. 
So what do you do say now? Thanks to you, it feel it's safe for me to train in the Sha Shakyamuni Tower. We're only 10 minutes in, so let's at least start in that tower. I believe this is it. Yeah. Only the worthy may climb it and grace our elders with their power. Alright. Let's go in. I can't run. Are there any... Hold on. Is the in is the beginning intro song to the game. That's pretty funny. And you guys are all trainers. I think Maya's in the lead. If I remember correctly, these guys mostly use ball toys. G yes! Oh, this is great for Maya. Surf, surf it up. Watch it now. Halfway down, they're gonna give me. They're gonna throw a curveball on. Throw a curveball and give me something other than Baltoy. You know it's funny. These guys all use Baltoy. Baltoy is our starter. I don't know if that means anything, but. I have a feeling, though, that, uh, are there any wall Pokemon here, or is it, I just hope there's items eventually. Prepare yourself to be clear-minded. Uh, can I not be clear-minded? You have one Mon, Claydol. Ooh. You, this Claydol should not exist. Because Claydol's level 34. I believe is level 36, a clay doll, a, a, a ball toy balls in the clay doll. So that clay doll should not exist. You have a substitute. I mean, at least you can't do it again after this. So what are you going to do now? Psychic. I can take it. How dare you lower my spadef. How dare you? And bye bye, Claydol. Level 35, let's go. Twister. Forgot what Twister actually does. Is a Dragon Power 40 power move? I kind of do need something to get rid of Splash, so let's get rid of Splash. Your mind is indeed clear. Thank you, Sage. Uh, I'm curious now. Poic is close. Oh, no you're not. Poic needs two more levels till he evolves. Um, yeah, let's keep the, let's keep the thing on Gary. This music, though. Wait. Oh, right here. That was interesting. He was looking away from me, but when I was beside him. Mm. Remember I mentioned before about a curveball? Case in point. On the plus side, you're also part... Uh... Psychic. Or you could use Bounce? You can completely miss your bounce. That works too. You're gonna do it again, yeah. <laughs> that does like nothing to me, though. Bounce and protect. Okay, yeah, bounce and protect. I know what kind of moves you have, and you're gonna bounce again. Wait, Twister can hit invulnerable turns. That's good to know. That is excellent news. Because now you're dead. Okay. 
No, I don't think you can. Alright. There's a pitfall there. Oh, that must be like a quick way out. Uh, I guess I have to go down here. Yes. You are pure. How wonderful. Why, thank you. I try to be. Another ball toy. Another one I can surf to death. Cool. And surf. And down goes ball toy. There we have 15. 16 minutes. Cool. Another ball toy. Oh, you have three ball toys. I may soon need to get some PPs. Uh, <laughs> Spoink. Interesting. You're gonna bounce? No, you're not gonna bounce. Maya. Uh, with the crit. Magic coat. Doesn't matter. This is about to kill you. I'm surprised that a pure mind will always triumph. Alright, before doing anything else... Oops, how much, how much surf do we have left? Seven. We're so good. I'm gonna heal you up, not using the energy roots, because we're close to having none of them. I'm just gonna use the potion, or the super potions I got. Okay. Oh. And an odd man came by earlier, looking for the Chikua salesman who lives at the top of the mountain. Inconveniently, he left his armor here. And since we are sworn to peace, we can't use it. You might as well have it. And now there's no music. I know it's because the music ended, but what the hell is this? An armor type occasionally prevents fainting. Interesting. The fact that there's no music, I'm just like... Um, game? Before I spit everywhere. Um, are you okay? Because, first of all, I wasn't in your line of sight. Two, in order to get to me that I'm on your... In order to get me, I was on your left-hand side, you went down. I think... I, I, I think... I think you might have a problem. Alright. We got ourselves a Gadabra with Future Sight. Bite? Oh, you have a Okay. Uh, Future Sight is next turn. Or this, it's at the end of this turn. It's three turns. So, get a crit? No. And here's the Future Sight. I'm sorry, Maya. Maya lives. Roleplay? Oh, you copied my Intimidate. That's fine. Gary now level 33. Very nice, very nice, very nice. You go on to the Elder. First, you need to get yourself checked out first, buddy. <laughs> Chaos of Odin. My number one question is, why the hell would you come here with a piece of armor and just leave it? So, that's the last of that. So let's go on up. This is new music. 
Ah, greetings, Chris. Once again, allow me to thank you for helping us with our problems. No, it's fine. Just doing my job. By the way, you haven't heard anything about my brother being the... My brother, the Pokemon Champion, have you? I heard he was last seen in the desert area. Landon? Yes. He found the Aerodactyl in the desert. He tried to catch it for us, but only managed to weaken it. I should think that that is why you were able to defeat it. Wow. Do you know where he went? I believe he went to the east to get back to Evergrande to try to get the help of the Elite Four. What's with those arms I can see behind you? Oh, you can see them? You must have the second sight. Those arms are my psychic power. They are invisible to most people. Now, I believe I promised you a battle. If you win, I shall make you. I shall make a gift to you. You're on. That music was actually pretty baller. That should have been the music that for the here. Elder Long Way. Oh no. Not Wobbuffet. All right. Let's try Bite. See what Bite does. Ooh, I got the flinch. Nice, nice. If I can keep getting flinches like this. <laughs> if I can keep getting flinches. <laughs> okay. I call hacks on that. I, I apologize, game. We got ourselves a Celebi. I believe you are Grass Fairy? Or Grass Psychic. Psychic. And the fact that you have a Celebi, I'm just like, uh, what? Maya with the crit. Okay, Maya, you need to calm down. Not only do you get th not only did you get three flinches on a Wobbuffet, you're getting crits on Celebi. You need to calm down. Actually, you know what? Don't. Keep doing what you're doing. That was easy. You are indeed worthy. Thank you. You have defeated my even my Celebi, the Pokemon of Time. You are mighty indeed. Take this as your reward. The yellow Vespa? That was a gift to the monastery from gym leader Haruko. Haruko? She has a lot of them. Apparently, they can go very fast, fast enough to scale mudslides. Um... And that's where the music ends, okay. So I can now travel through mudslides. Or, yeah, mudslides. Interesting. Um, uh, okay. So, I guess, I guess we're done here at the monastery. So, I'm what I'm gonna do, in between episodes, I'm gonna go to... Oh, I need to go up. I need to go further. Um... I'm gonna go to the um, the actual monastery itself, buy some more energy roots because I say I got a lot of money now, and I guess go to Fallibor because that's where Mrs. told us where she was. So I think that's our next destination. So hopefully I can get there. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to click that thumbs up button like you never clicked it before and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer and I will see you in the next video.